Hello guys, I hope all of you will be fine. So this is question 3.25 of chapter 3 and the statement of it is from a box containing four dimes and two nickels, three coins are selected at random without replacement. Okay, so find the probability distribution for the total T of the three coins or the total number of cents in three coins. Okay, so express the probability distribution graphically as a probability histogram. Okay, so the amount of the given data which is given here. So let me put it here and that is let me have this given data and let me represent this dimes with D and nickels with N. Okay, from the given data, it is said that there are four dimes. Okay and how many nickels we have two nickels okay so from the cost of the dimes we know that one dime is equal to the 10 cents okay and one nickel is equal to how many cents these are basically five cents this is already given okay so from them if we have this total number of coins which are six we have to select any three coins okay so we have to select how many coins three coins without replacement what is mean by without replacement once a coin has been selected it will not put back into the original number of coins okay so this is the without replacement so now what do we have to do we have to find the distribution for the total of the three coins okay so now let me solve it and in solving it let me have here the solution so what are the combinations we can have here so suppose initially we have the three coins which are dimes so we can have here dime 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 of the three coins okay similarly we can also have one nickel out of the three coins so it can either be dime dime nickel or dime nickel dime or nickel dime dime okay we can see here that these three are basically lie in the same category in which we have only one nickel okay so therefore we will have a single term for it okay so here this is a separate this one is separate okay similarly for the two nickels what can i have here either here i will have nickel nickel dime or nickel dime nickel or dime nickel nickel okay so here these three are also in the same category where we have two nickels and we cannot have here more than two nickels because the given number of nickels here are two okay so therefore the cost here would be how much the cost here of this one or the total cost here would be for this one will be how much this will be a 10 plus 10 plus 10 this will be 30 cents okay for it it will be uh, 10 10 5 or 10 5 10 or 5 10 10 so these three will give me the equal number of cents it will be 25 and similarly for this one here i will have 5 5 10 or 5 10 5 or for dime 10 nickel 5 nickel 5 here it will be 20 okay so for each of them it will be the same for each category for the each number of the dimes or the nickels okay so now what do we have to find out here we have to express the probability distribution graphically as a probability histogram for what for the probability distribution of the total t okay so now here in order to find it out for let me have here the probability that t is equal to 20 let me start it from 20 and here in this range we can very clearly see that this is the range and here we can clearly see that we have two nickels and one dime so these two nickels have been selected out of these two nickels which are in total total in number so therefore it will be what it will be the two out of two two choices two okay similarly we have only one dime here which is here and this one dime has been selected from the total number of dimes which are four here so four choose one these are the 
number of choices we will have here dividing it over the total number of choices okay so the total number of choices here will be the 3 out of this 4 plus 2 which is 6 so therefore it will be the 3 from what 4 plus 2 okay so this 4 plus 2 is basically how much this 4 plus 2 is 6 okay so you got my point that here in the numerator what i have to write i have to write the choices in event divided by the total number of choices okay so total number of choices so there that's what i have done so now simplifying it what i will get 2 choice 2 is 2 factorial divided by 2 factorial and then 2 minus 2 is 0 factorial multiply it with the 4 1 so 4 factorial divided by 4 minus 1 3 factorial and this 1 factorial okay and also dividing it over this one 6 factorial divided by the 3 factorial and then 6 minus 3 is also 3 factorial okay so uh, solving it out what i will get here the answer of it would be how much that is 1 over 5 okay similarly for the probability that t is equal to 25 which is basically this one and here we can see that we have two dimes okay here here and one nickel okay so in order to do so what can i write here here i can see that the total number of choices will remain the same which are six choose three while here for the nickel i have only one nickel out of the total number of nickels which are two okay so two choose one while the dimes here are two okay so i have to select these two dimes any number of dimes from the four total four okay so now solving it by using the same formulation what we have done here i will get here three by five okay you can try it out similarly let me move down somehow and here for the probability that t is 30 what i have to do here i can see that when t is 30 i have three dimes okay and no nickel so therefore for the nickel i have two nickels for them i have zero nickel here while for the dimes i have total number of dimes four from it i have to choose three while the total number of choices will remain the same which are six three okay so here from it what i will get here it will be one by five Okay. So, these are all the probabilities whatsoever we have found out here. Okay. So, here we can also write them out here. So, let me write them out here. This is what we have. This is T and this is the probability of T. Okay. So, now writing them out here. The T is 20, 25 and 30 okay and the probabilities we have them for here here the probability of t equal to 20 is 1 by 5 for 25 i have 3 by 5 for 30 i have also 1 by 5 okay so therefore these are the probability uh, distribution because by adding 1 by 5 3 by 5 1 by 5 what i will get the summation of them all will be equal to 1 so this is the probability distribution so let me also draw it here as well so in order to draw it let me have this one this is what we have so this is what the random variable t this is what we have the probability of t okay and also we have some values here let me have here 0 this is let me have 20 this is uh, 25 and this is 30 okay and let me have different values here let me have here this is 1 by 5 this is uh, 2 by 5 and let me have this one as 3 by 5 okay so let me draw them here and the first one which is 20 t of t for it is 1 by 5 
this will be for it and this is for p equal to 20 this is 1 by 5 okay similarly for the 25 here we have 3 by 5 so this is here and let me start it from here and we have to move here and it will be like this one okay so this is what this is the 3 by 5 the histogram for p equal to 25 okay similarly for 30 i have here this one and this is 1 by 5 so for 1 by 5 i have here this one and this is the distribution for it as well we can also make it more convenient by reducing the size of the boxes as well if you reduce the size of the boxes just like here let me make it more convenient by reducing the size of the boxes as well and you can see that the plot here will be more beautifully look like so it is 20 it is 25 and it is 30 okay and here it will be like this is here and also this is here and this one here as well okay so here this one is 3 by 5 okay this one is 1 by 5 okay so these are what these are the probability distributions both are the same but here the width of the bar is somehow lower as compared to this one okay so that's it for today in which we have seen that how to calculate the probability distribution function for the random variables which we have been given here if you have any question you can ask me in the comment box see you soon